Hi guys! Oh, let's get this focus in check. So it's me, Cara A. Vernier, and we are in Hyde Park because it is 420, bitch! his best mate and best man hello and one of my best mates Nikki Peek. um and we are at the park of hides if my camera would care to focus <sighs> apologies for me being such a basic bitch with my camera finally I've worked out how we uh both this, this thing and we are currently walking back to my friend Nick's car because he forgot to pay for parking. My boys. Hi. Stazer. Hi. Hi, it's me. So I may as well talk a little bit about how ridiculous it is that people condemn weed or like still class it as a drug and not a plant that grew out of God's green earth. Uh, my main question when it comes to the whole like weed thing, being a drug, being, what is it in England? Class B? Class B. Come on man, how are you going to make nature illegal? Dangerous thing, it's very, very <laughs> dangerous thing. It's like making the, tr the trunk illegal and the leaf illegal. It's what? Starts with the one liners, come back and say it on camera please darling. <laughs> it's as ironic as trying to get a trunk to be illegal and a tree and a leaf. I think up to like 200 seizures a day. And his parents started giving him CBD oil, which is the cannabinoid oil. And his seizures dropped drastically to, I mean, I think a couple, if any, a day. Now this just goes to show how important cannabis and hemp are to humans and to our culture. It actually used to be illegal not to grow hemp, believe it or not. Um, so that just goes to show it has many, many uses. Really, if our clothes, if our food, if all of our like day-to-day -day appliances that can be made of wood, but actually instead made of hemp, um, our culture, our society will be a lot richer and a lot happier, I think. I know personally that for me, I know that weed is the biggest stress reliever. If I'm freaking out because I'm the type of person that can be like, ah! Other than meditation, which is obviously like the best diffuser, psychological diffuser, if I just have one smoke, one token of the split, I'm just cool again. And it suddenly makes me be like, oh, wait, what the fuck was I worrying about? And so to me, it's really, really crazy that alcohol is legal, that it is legal to smoke cigarettes when hundreds of thousands of people die every year from alcohol poisoning, alcohol yeah, poisoning. People as byproducts who can get it, uh, affected, parents, children, innocent bystanders in, in, in accidents. You know, there's, there's, there's the, the, 
the knock-on effect of alcoholics. Yeah. Um, whereas we, the worst that happens is you eat your kids, but you can eat your kids breakfast, as Cat Williams, I believe, says. Cereal. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> cereal. Yeah, you, or, you, know, cereal. Or, uh, <laughs> you know, you get to work five, ten minutes late. It's really not that, not that yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, there's loads of examples where kids have, have been helped with CBD, but there is a case where the father they attempted to prosecute the father because he was administering CBD to a child, and yes, the child was having 200 seizures a day. And uh, the weed was getting it down to like 75 a day, which is obviously you know, a chance of brain hemorrhaging. There's so many amazing positives to stopping that. The judge is trying to put him to prison. Crazy. It doesn't make any sense if you look at alcohol and cigarettes objectively alongside marijuana. Marijuana is medicinally diverse. Hemp in itself is one of the most biodiverse substances in the world. It grows faster than bamboo. It's made a car and I think a TV has been made of this. Anything between like 70 to 90 percent hemp. Just show how biodiverse things can be made into a form of plastic. In the 40s, when the cotton industries were kind of, you know, an absolute megalith of, of, of a system, um, they realized hemp would be a massive, massive conflict in, in terms of as, as a substance. So they tried, they thought, well, how can they spoke to the government? They said, look, hemp is going to be very easy to grow, very easy to cultivate, and can, can, can you know, sorry, very distracting. Look at the doggy. Look at the doggy. Hey, John. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, and they, it, was, it was a perfect opportunity. It was an opportunity to try and boycott and, and taint and what's the word blacklist hemp. Yeah. Was by saying, well, we do smoke weed, man, you go fucking crazy. You know, it's a gateway drug. To eat. But I'm high. Thing. I want to sit and not even. Like, you don't need nothing. Let's be real. Let's be real. <laughs> when I'm high, I just want to eat some cereal. I just want to sit. I want to chill. I want to eat up all the food in my house. Stay, buddy. Stay. Oh. Oh. Come here, come here, boy. Come here, boy. Sit down. Take your little boot down. Good boy. <laughs> Colorado is a great example. So they were making. This is a, a couple of years back. They were making 13 million a month from um, from, from weed. Uh, You're so joking. Making weed, and they were giving 10% to state schools. So three million a month was going to fund state schools. Really? And what a way to supplement the system and the state itself. Which branch was petition in the House of Commons or House of Lords for about four or really? five years? Trying to get it legal for four or five years, so it makes no sense. It's uh, everyone does it. It's it's medicinally viable. There are receptors in our body which oh. are specially there for the cannabinoid particles. Literally, our bodies are made to receive cannabis particles. Sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> Sorry, I'm keeping you in frame. It's the best distraction. Anyway, that is all. We're gonna go get. I mean, dun dun dun. Uh, we're gonna get a beer now. We are in the midst of the madness today. Yeah, man, you came late, man. I know, man. We came here. Yeah, go and get some guests. So this is what we does. It brings people together, makes people happy. And means you can be high, which is great.